Encampment cleared after weeks of back and forth with the university. Police this morning moved in and dismantled a pro-Palestinian encampment on Penn's campus. Police arrested more than 30 people this morning as they brought that encampment to an end. Good morning once again. I'm NBC 10's Lucy Bustamante. They also took down several of those tents and we were live on air just after 5.30 this morning. Dozens of police officers on bike, on foot. They moved in to take apart the encampment, which was set up 16 days ago. Officers gave the protesters a two-minute warning to leave the campus or face possible arrests. And then the police did in fact move in. Police moved in one day after Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro weighed in. He called for the encampment to be disbanded and for the university to restore order and safety on its campus. NBC 10 Siobhan McGurl has been on the Penn campus since early this morning. She takes us live now with the very latest, a very, very emotional morning, an active morning out there, Siobhan. Tell us more. Lucy, after that active, hectic morning, things are pretty quiet here right now. The university does have some barriers up behind me, keeping anyone from accessing College Green, where this encampment was. Our cameras were here this morning as Philadelphia police and university police moved in on this pro-Palestinian encampment. Officers started rolling onto Penn's campus just after 5.30 Friday morning, creating a perimeter around College Green. Protesters saw what was happening, still vowing to hold their ground. But then, minutes later, a last warning to leave. A handful of protesters heeded that warning, running with their belongings. Others stayed, locking arms around the base of the Ben Franklin statue. And then the arrest started. A handful of protesters did try to resist, some even carried to the police van standing by. A tense but mostly peaceful scene. Police kept onlookers from entering College Green, but outside a group gathered, telling us they were standing in solidarity. At one point, some people tried to block police fans from leaving the green. A group of five people who told us they were faculty members sat on the ground to block officers. Police eventually took them into custody, but let them go. Who do you protect? By 8.30 Friday morning, police started clearing out and dump trucks moved into College Green, cleaning up what was left behind from the two-week-long encampment. The university stressed to us in a statement those who stayed at the encampment did so knowing they would be removed and arrested. The 33 people who were arrested, they were cited for defiant trespass. In University City, I'm Siobhan McGurl, NBC 10 News. All right, Siobhan, thank you for the update there. And stay with NBC 10 on air and online for continuing coverage of the Penn protests. And also, what comes next after this removal of the encampment?